Lohorn. Got it back to Grant Gibbs. There's 10 on the shot clock. Here's Harris on the post. Again on Lohorn. Backs in and scores. Harris he now with 10. <laughs> Did you read his lips when he Matt had the ball in the wing? <laughs> Give me the ball. Give me, Give me the ball. Give me the ball. This is Michael Williams. Bajara sets the screen. The green. Back to Dejara, drives by Foster, and a chance for three. Oh. Dejara's got a nice stop with Dejara on that. You can score on this play Look, through a seven-foot-five guy. That's pretty good. Well, he gets Will to open up a little bit on the defensive stance, but Will has that advantage of doing that because he's so long, but Dejara taking the ball to the other side. Kind of caught Will off guard. And you know, when you're seven five, the problem with that play, Craig, is he didn't get his body in place. He's playing for the block rather yeah, than instead for position. of the defense. Yeah. And then using the block if you don't have position. And Will's got to learn to get his body. You can't give up the baseline. No, you take away the baseline. I mean, you're taught that from you know fourth grade on. You don't want to give up the baseline. I think that's where Will hopped to the to his right, which would have been to the middle instead of taking the baseline away. Golden off on the three. Harris kept it alive. And two shots coming for Elias Harris. Foul inside. And they give it to number 21, Mustafa Dejara. That's his second. Five team fouls now on USF. Well, Matty struggling with the outside shot right now. Still looking to take the shot, but a nice job by the Zags on the offensive boards. Oh, there were three of them in there, and any one of them could have grabbed it. Gibbs, Zachary, Harris comes up with it. Harris gives Gonzaga a three point lead. Make it four. Under 12 to play, and USF throws it away. Rashad Green tried to go to Lowhorn and threw it out of bounds. 11.56 to play in San Francisco, and Gonzaga back in a dogfight in the West Coast Conference. They lead. We've got a whale of a ball game here in the West Coast Conference in San Francisco. Gonzaga ranked number 13 in the nation, and winners of nine in a row. Lead by just four, and Rex Walters is beside himself, the head coach of the USF Dons, as a foul is called on USF. Well, it's a great time to come out of the of a timeout and trap the first pass, and that's exactly what they did to Matt Bolden. They trapped him. All the rest of the Zags were running down to get into their set, had their heads turned. They got to recognize Matt's getting trapped back there, come and meet the basketball, which actually Manny was doing. That foul called on Kwame Vaughn. They go inside and it's taken away by Lohorn. See, Robert couldn't make the pass. He's got to swing it to Manny on the left side in the wing and let him make that pass. Vaughn spins to the middle and he's fouled by Rob Sacre. See, to me, even though Rob did foul him, that's a tough whistle because there was no way Vaughn was going to make that shot. No, you. It, you don't want to say Robert bailed him out, but make him take a tougher shot. He did take a tough shot. That's the point. Yeah. The official rewarded him by taking, taking a tough him. shot and giving Rob the foul. I see what even, you're saying, yeah. even though Rob fouled him. I don't know. Did that make any sense? You know say what it I'm again. saying? No, I, no, no, no. We're not going there again. Vaughn is one you know two. What? It worked. He only made one. That's the way I always looked at it when I fouled someone. But they only made one free throw. It was a good foul. A rock the Sacre double team trying to pull his way in and does miss the shot tipped into the corner by Green and now USF can tie the game with a three into the corner Vaughn can shoot it here's Lohorn on Harris and a foul call and they give it to Elias Harris. 
That's his first. And five now on Gonzaga. But really Lowhorn went right at Harris that time. Well, he, he caught it. You know, you've, you've gotten Dior off of the block where he wants to catch it. You know. Then Dior brings it right in to Harris. So I thought Harris stood his ground pretty well. Lowhorn, the 82% free throw shooter, missed his first free throw attempt of this game. And his team remains down by three. Anytime you're Average 20 points. You're you're definitely a good free throw shooter. One of two, and it's a two-point game. Lowhorn tied Bill Russell here at USF for the fastest to 1,000 points in Don's basketball history. As Gibbs drive and missed it, and Lowhorn with the rebound with a big swing of the elbows. Yeah, and now USF a chance to take the lead with a three. Lowhorn fake the three drive on Harris hangs gets the roll we're tied at 48 he was on the bench why uh, he missed a few practices <laughs> Harris missed it too hard and look at Manquisto or Rob battling on the boards for Gonzaga he said that right. He's a man down there right now. Mangisto grabbing the rebound yeah. on the list. Look look What's Lohorn. the touch of Lowhorn? You know, I didn't get the chance to talk to Dior Lowhorn, uh, but he actually transferred here. From US to uh, USF from Texas Tech University, which is in my hometown of Lubbock, Texas. You get a chance to see it again at my favorite place, my barbecue place. Danny, I'm sorry, Greg. A 58% free throw shooter misses the first 10. And Lowhorn into double figures now for USF with 10 points. Averaging 17. As Arab hits one of two. And Gonzaga with the lead again. And Dimitri Goodson, number three, checking in for Mark Few. Well, in that game against Santa Clara, when Stephen Gray got poked in the eye and was seeing double baskets, and the other coach gets to choose who shoots the free throws, they chose Manny. And, you know, Manny's a gamer. Walked up there and knocked down two, but only made one or two on that particular trip. Matt Bolden also on the bench for Gonzaga. Two of seven shooting, 0 for 4 from three. Calario for the lead. <laughs> USF for their first lead of the game at 51 49. Trying to shock the 13th ranked team in the nation. They take it away. This is Green on Gibbs. And he'll shoot free throw. Well, momentum has definitely changed. USF doing a lot of good stuff defensively. So Green, a 74% free throw shooter, can add to a two-point lead. We'll have one more as Matt Bolden will be checking, or is checking in now for Gonzaga. Grant Gibbs will go out of the game. Check out where Rashad's shooting from, too. He's like... Remember Michael Adams from Denver Nuggets? I do remember him. Shot way over on the side. No, get in the middle. There's a nail hole out there. Didn't he play yeah. at Boston College? I believe he did. I played against him in the league forever. He was there forever. But So you're saying Green is to the far right side of yeah. the free throw line shooting. You know, get into a, a heated conversation with one of the officials. Well, you don't never want to put time back on. And your team's winning. Did you want to put time back on the clock? Not at home. Not at home. You're exactly right. Three point USF lead on number 13, Gonzaga. Winners of nine in a row, and they're 6 0 oh in West Coast Conference play. Here's Harris. Hanging. Missed it. Rebound. Blackwell. I'll tell you the truth, that was a bad shot. I haven't seen Elias take a lot of bad shots, but he was. The defender was right on him. Throw the ball back out to your wing. Reset. You can always reset. There's Dejara. He'll go to work on Harris now. That's kick all it, offensive. Kick it back to Bryant. Offensive foul, you mean? 